Hello, welcome to Moo Moo Math, where we upload a new math video to every day. In this video, I'd like to show you a really nice shortcut for converting repeating a repeating decimal to a fraction. First, the rules. With the numerator, if you only have repeating numbers like 0.222, you write the repeating number as your numerator. If you have a mixed recurring decimal like 0.166, Notice that the 1 does not repeat, but the 666 does. You subtract the non-repeating number from the repeating number. And make sure that the repeating number has the same number of digits as the non-repeating. And then the rules for the denominator are that for your non-repeating numbers, add a 0 and a 9 for repeating numbers. And then once you have the fraction set up, you reduce. So let's go through a couple of examples. Okay. Let's start with 0.333. It is a repeating digit. There is no non-recurring, so I will write 3. And for the repeating number, I write 9. And you know you can reduce this down to 1 third. Let's do another example. 0.666, write 6. Because it is a repeating number, you have one repeating number. That is a 9. And you can reduce 6 ninths to two-thirds. Okay, um, let's go. This one has a non-repeating number, the 0.833. So what we will do is you subtract the repeating number, which is 83 minus 8, because that is the non-repeating, and that 83 minus 8 is equal to 75, so 75 becomes your numerator, and then we had one non-repeating number, so I'll write zero for that, and then we have repeating numbers of three, and that is 90. 75 over 90, you can reduce this down to 5 sixths. Okay, how about this one, point one eight one eight. Now we have a repeating number with two digits, so I write 1, 8, and then for each digit that is repeating, I write a 90. I write a 9, so that becomes 99. And 18 over 99, if you reduce it down, is 2 elevenths. Okay, let's go a couple more. You can see how it really is quite easy creating a fraction. 0.16, we have a non-repeating number, so I will take the repeating number. Okay, which is 1, 6, and subtract the non-repeating number, which is 1, because that is your non-repeating. That becomes 15, 15 over. We have one non-repeating number, so that is a 0. And now we have 6, 6, 6, so we have 6 is the repeating number. That okay, becomes and a 9. 15 will go into 96 times, and that is your fraction. Okay. So you took 16 minus 1, which is your non-recurring. That's 15 over 90, and you know 15 will go into 90. Now, the one, one six. exception that I have found with this is, and be careful here, say we have a number 4166. You may be tempted with this to write the repeating fraction as 416. But in fact, uh, since you have two non-repeating numbers, you need to have at least two numbers before in the repeating section. So instead of writing 416, I would write 4166. So you have two non-repeating and two repeating. And then from there, it would be 4166 minus 41. And 4166 minus 41 is equal to 412. Five, and then 4, 1, 2, 5 over. We have two non-repeating, so that would be 0, 0, 2 repeating. Okay, and then, um, guys, I did cheat. I put this into a reducer, and that will, believe it or not, reduce down to 5 twelfths. Okay, let me go through uh, two more just to show you how this does work. Uh, say, for instance, I'm going to write this one down. You have 251818 repeating. Again, to convert this to a fraction, it works. You take the repeating fraction, which is 2, 
five, one, eight. And remember our rule, you have two non-repeatings, and this one gives you two repeating, so your repeating fraction is proper, minus 25, because that is the non-repeating portion, and 2518 minus 25 is equal to 2493, and then the rules are you have two non-repeating, which is 0, 0, and then two repeating numbers, which is 99, and you can reduce that down to 27711. And then if I divide 277 by 11, lo and behold, that equals 2518818 repeating. Okay, I'll even show you a crazy number here. Say you have a number like this, 7064388988 and 88989. Eight, nine. The repeating is 889. Eight, you can see it repeating twice. It even works for something like this. So I will first write the de repeating decimal. So it's 7064388. Oh, eight, eight, okay, minus the non repeating, which is uh, we have. Three, four, six, zero, seven. Okay, so seven zero six four three is a non-repeating. If you subtract these two, you are left with seven zero five seven three two four six. I'll repeat this up here: seven zero five seven three two. Four, six. when I subtract these two numbers and then I use the same rules for the um, non-repeating I add a zero so I have one two three four five zeros one two three four five zeros and then I have three non-repeating -re numbers nine 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 and then um, that will be your fraction. I'm not going to re reduce that down. But test it out with your calculator. If you d divide this number by this number, it will give you this re repeating fraction. It does work. Anyway, hope that helps. Th thanks for watching. Moo Math uploads a new math video every day.